I've been doing pretty good with my reading. So yeah, um, it's the story of my life. There's always some kind of challenge going on. Recording videos is still a nightmare right now, but I'm trying to push through. And so this is my monthly kind of Goodreads wrap up video. And then of course I'll be doing my book review video very soon. So I am doing pretty good with my good overall like Goodreads challenge and the individual challenge that my IWSU book club is doing. So let me just get into it. So let's start with my overall Goodreads challenge. I set my goal this year for 36 books, which really isn't a lot for me, but um, since I haven't made my goal last year um, because of a lot of things that were going on, I decided to give myself an easier goal to reach. So as of right now, I've completed 10 out of 36 titles. I say titles because I am reading a lot of short fiction right now. I am one book ahead of schedule, so that's pretty good for me. So that's just for my overall um, Goodreads challenge. Now, I did mention that I am doing a monthly reading challenge through my IWSU book club. So let me pull this up and see for the month of March, our theme was horses. <laughs> and um, so you were, the idea was this, you were just, you could pick whatever you wanted to read within that theme. And so I set my goal for two books. One was a full length novel and the other was a work of short fiction. I did that on purpose because I, I knew that I could probably read, you know, one novel. And then of course, this other thing was so short, I was able to do it just in a, you know, like in a couple of like less than an hour. So I completed that challenge. Yay. So the um, IWSU book club theme challenge for the month of April is going to be libraries. And right now I have it set again for two books in that challenge, even though I picked out three because I found a cute little picture book, but I'm not going to count that one right now. I am just going to count the other two books um, that I plan to read for that challenge. And I'll share those in just a moment because I got to pull them up, make sure I'm giving you the right information. So for my <laughs> for my library challenge for the month of April, I am reading The Invisible Library. Um, last month, someone said they were reading that book. And I was like, I have that book on my queue. I'm reading it next month. So that that was really fun. That was uh, a thing, a chat I had on Instagram. And so the other book that I found, it's called Lulu's Library. And this is supposed to be a complete collection of short stories for kids. And so I am reading both of those right now. And like I said, I did have one other picture book that I found, but I'm not going to mention it right now. Um, I haven't started it. If I get to it, great. So that is the stuff that I'm currently reading for both of the challenges that I currently have. But let's see what I read in the month of March. So in March, I um, started and completed three titles. One of them was, of course, a short story. It was called The Fay Horse, and that was for my horse challenge. And um, I ended up giving it uh, an overall Goodreads rating of five, but my actual rating was 4.5. And I'll explain that in my book review video. The other uh, book that I read from re regarding a horse for the horse challenge was one of the IWSG spotlight reads. So we are now doing our spotlight reads quarterly instead of monthly. And so this was a book that someone could have read in the month of March if they wanted to. If not, they still have the month of April to read it as well if they choose to do that. And so that was a spiral of hooves. This one, I gave it an overall Goodreads rating of four. My actual rating was 3.75. And I go into course detail with my book review video. I do want to state that if you're not going to watch the book review video, if you like horses, you should definitely read this book. Um, I'll explain why I gave my rating in the other video. And the other thing that I read in the month of March, I was very excited about this. There is a publisher out there who's also an author and um, she's the um, publisher for Dancing Lean Press. As an author she publishes this L. Diane Wolf and she had been promoting on her blog this new novella series that she put put out. I guess it's is it a novella? I felt I, I don't know it seemed novel length to me but regardless 
it's supposed to be a series of like fantasy type stories. I think each one is supposed to be standalone, but it is part of a series. And so I read the first one in that series, which is called In Darkness, The Vampire. And I really enjoyed it. So again, for this one, the overall Goodreads rating is five stars. My actual rating was 4.75. And so of course I'll give more detail in my book review video. And so that is what I read in the month of March. So not too shabby as far as um, what I was able to accomplish there um, for the month of April. Um, like I said, I'm currently reading the two different um, library themed books. I could always add something else to that if I wanted to. Plus, there's the potential of a picture book I might throw in there. Because I've already read Spiral of Hooves, I'll be looking forward to our IWSG discussion about that, which will be on April 27th. And the other book that we spotlighted was called Fight Like a Girl, Writing Fight Scenes for Female Characters. I am very interested in this book. However, I'm on a streak right now where I just want to read for pleasure. I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. I'm not really interested in reading nonfiction right now, but I definitely am excited to see what other people have to say about it. I know one person has already mentioned that they found the book helpful, so I'm also looking forward to that discussion which will also be on April 27th. So that is what I read in the month of March. This is what I'm going to be reading in the month of April. And we shall see how it goes. I'd love to know what you guys are reading. And until next time, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Give it a like and also leave me a comment. I would love that. Okay.